This shelter is far from what Haile Arafe and his family had back in their hometown of Maikadra in Ethiopia's Tigray region. But when conflict erupted last November, Haile says he was forced to abandon all he had and he and his family smuggled themselves into Sudan through an unofficial border crossing. I came into the country at night through the bush. There was a farm at the border and that's where I stayed for the day. Sudanese soldiers found me and others who were also escaping to Gray and brought us to the camp. I had hoped to eventually leave and go to another country because I have relatives who've crossed the border before the conflict and they're now in Europe and elsewhere. But instead, we came to the refugee camps. The Tigray conflict is now in its sixth month and has forced more than 63,000 people into Sudan in search of safety. Many came through official border crossing points along the Sudan-Ethiopia border during the first days of conflict. But refugees say shortly after the conflict started, crossing the border from Ethiopia became difficult and smuggling became the safest way to seek refuge in Sudan's border states of Kassala and Gadarif. They're not the only ones making the journey. Hundreds come in each year in search of work. Borders between Sudan and Ethiopia were marked out in the early 20th century during British colonial rule. Despite being drawn on maps, the borders between Sudan and Ethiopia are poorly defined on the ground. In most parts, there are no formal barriers to mark where one country ends and the other begins, only stretches of farmland. And while border smuggling is not new, other factors besides the Tigray conflict helped it increase over the past few months. Border crossings have been closed due to the coronavirus pandemic. Now, Ethiopians who do cross don't venture far from this area in a place called Galabad. It's a near two kilometer stretch of land where no paperwork is needed to enter. It's better for me to work here in Sudan. I can communicate with the people and earn money, unlike back in my village in Ethiopia. In late November, Sudan moved to take over a fertile 3,000 square kilometer region in the state known as Al Fashaga that Sudan claims under a colonial agreement dating back to 1902. But ethnic Amhara farmers from Ethiopia say they've been farming it for nearly five decades and it belongs to them. Local authorities say the situation at the border has also led to a rise in other forms of smuggling. The armed forces are now also combating an increase in smuggling of weapons. The borders have long been porous and with conflict in Tigray, we find people seeking refuge more often. They do that by smuggling across the border and those we detect are handed over to the refugee commission. But we need organizations to tend to the refugees, otherwise we'll start seeing trafficking of vulnerable refugees. Haile says when he was smuggled into Sudan, he was concerned about the welfare of his family. He says he still hopes to relocate his family to a better place, but now wants to do it legally to avoid any repercussions on their lives and their future. Hiba Morgan Al Jazeera, Gabarif.